Hello ladies, welcome back. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you how I made the bookmarks that I put in my strawberry tea journal. They're very simple, but I happened upon it in a rather sort of haphazard way. I was having a bath and my scrubby a sponge, it's not really a sponge, but as you can see it does the same kind of job, fell to bits and I was surrounded in the bath by acres of pretty plastic ribbon. <laughs> I was supposed to hang on the side of the bath with this sucker and it did for weeks but then it fell to bits. So this is what I was ending up with and of course being a junk journaler <laughs> and thinking of saving the planet for our next challenge I thought oh I can use that uh, and so I started fiddling with it and found a way to make some pretty bows so all I did oh I cut a piece off the end like so and then took a piece of ribbon and tied a bow it's not going to be long enough You can, of course, have as much or as little as you want. I then found a piece of netting which was the wrapping for onions. There were three red onions in a bag and once I'd opened the bag I cut up and saved the netting. So that's going to go on there and then a piece of pretty cotton material which I'm going to just trim off down the side with my pink inches because that will stop it fraying it's definitely worth having some pink in shears if you are a junk journaler and so now I'm going to attach the three things onto there with a button. Like so. And there I will have my pretty bookmark. So I will sew that on and come back to you in a moment. So once it's sewn together, this is what you end up with, and I think that's very pretty. I've left the bias on there this time, and I've left the tassels on the back. Each one will be slightly different because as you go along, obviously you will adapt and um, make each one its own boss. So I used some embroidery thread to sew it on. I used the pink one but I've got lots of different ones and obviously a button from your button drawer. If you use a white sponge then obviously you can use more colours 
I kept to the pink theme. And you will be left with some scraps, which obviously you don't throw away because you'll be able to use those on your tags. This little strip, for instance, would be really nice threaded through the top of your tag. So they will go into my scrap box uh, for use later on. And these will go into the other two junk journals that I'm making on the strawberry theme. And now, because I've got a little bit of time, I want to show you this very pretty junk journal. It's hardly a junk journal, really, that I had from my Japanese friend in the post the other day. And it really is delightful. I think it deserves to be shown. And she doesn't have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to show you it on her behalf. Her name is Izumi. And she has made this herself. Apparently in Japan this style is very popular with the ring binding to hold the cover. And if you notice on the back how she's made it so neatly, finished it off just beautifully. So I was very impressed with this Izumi. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to show it to my friends. I shan't be talking through it because really it speaks for itself. But I hope you enjoy looking. And I shall enjoy looking and using it. It's just so pretty. I could say it, it smells nice too. I don't know how she managed that. But thank you, Izumi. It smells wonderful. <laughs> I don't recognise the smell. It's sort of soapy. It's just gorgeous.
I hope this shows up because it's green, very pretty green colour. So there's some more inspiration for you. That's a Japanese style junk journal and I think it's gorgeous. Until next time, thank you for watching. Subscribe please if you haven't already and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye bye for now.